Hey, 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 <clears throat> this is Boat Doctor down here, 2023 190C Runner. Beautiful boat, 60 gallon fuel tank. It's a 2023. We got a 200. These are really dynamite motors. Uh, real fast, RPM kicks, or horsepower kicks in about 2200. Everybody else, 38 to 4400. Stainless steel uh, drive shaft, prop shaft. Uh, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, special paint, 17 pitch right hand aluminum rotation. <coughs> All both have vibration, but aluminums give you less vibration, believe it or not. And I'm not a big stainless fan, like on any inline fours or three cylinders, but you know, people do it. They're heavy. Yeah, they do have a like a shear hub in them, but if you ever burn one of them, you may have issues. Big V6 has got the gear case to handle it because they are a little harder on the gear case. Okay, that's uh, stainless. You got uh, zinc, my drain plug, hydraulic steering, heavy duty tie downs. I put in 30 gallons of gas on this one. Uh, this is like 21.8, it's got a BMO 96, max horsepower is 225. It's a 15 by 23 by 35 degree hole. Uh, side height is 32, and you got a maximum drive weight of 2150. Um, it's a good, good, good boat. Well done. This is even got a slope curtain that goes on here up to there. Uh, hey, they molded that in. That looks nice. Instead of having the hanging light, they molded the rear deck light in. Uh, ski pylon, well, the downrigger pads. Double dip galvanized trailer, easy loader, shine guides. You still want to kind of get it halfway in the water <clears throat> because it's got slick bunks, two two by sixes. <clears throat> because you want it to stick so you can drive it to the front. And uh, right here, these are the better rollers instead of the black. You don't leave the black marks up to your keel. You want it this to touch this. You don't want this on top of this. Or you'll play heck getting an off spare tire carrier. Keel roller is not meant for that keel to run on. That's just so you don't hit the cross member. Gear bath oil hubs, <clears throat> brown good, white bad, five lugs. Uh, there's your fill right there. And they're uh, rain airs, tires. And they're probably ST205 75R 14s, is what I would presume. Safety chain, top mount coupler. Brake fluid's up underneath there, two inch ball, peek a poo hole, chains, round seven. Yamaha, throw this baby back into there. Dual wiper, hood over the front for shade. Uh, grease for your two pin welded house for your windows. Window stops, suction cup, them are the pretty good actually, they do a good job. Cleat up front, <clears throat> cleat here, cleat here, cleat everywhere. Here a cleat, there a cleat. Offshore kicker bracket, grab handle, ladder you just pull up, get down, grab this. They put that in the right spot. They move the ladder, pole holders, right where you need them. <clears throat> Always mount your other ones that go out in the water, pretend you're fishing, and where you're going to be fishing, then mount your pole holders. Cup holders, a little tray in here. Got a, you can put your crab in here. You got a fish box. There's your switch over there. It's a macerator style. Good drains into your bilge, lockable. Pull up on this. Battery switch is right up underneath there. Dual batteries. <clears throat> There's your valve. <laughs> the way it's open now, the water that's in here is gonna go into the bilge and pull the plug and you can drain it. Or you turn that valve and then you can hit the switch and macerate it out. You got your 10 micron. And matter of fact, we better go ahead and just pump this up while we're here. I can hear it. So they must have filled the filter. You got two uh, auto build pumps way in the back. And that's kind of nice. They put them back there. What a difference when they prime these. You can hear it. Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. Got rod holders over there. A 
Gotta get all that out of there. There. Nice and hard. Just slam this baby. Get it back here. Lift it up. Slide it in the notches. Turn these. Backdrop. The switch for this is right here. Ah. Battery switch. Doesn't come on for things to check. Your battery switch. That's on now. Again, pull up. There. See, lights on. Switch. Bench seats. Suspension seats. Swivel. If you pull on that, that slides your seat. That's your tensioner. Tighten them up. You want them to where when you're tightening these up, you don't want the seats to bounce. You just want them barely to bounce because if you get them too soft, you're bouncing all the time. It's not good. <clears throat> courtesy light, I'm going to turn that on. And if you had the rear courtesy lights, it'd be on the up position. Bilge. Wiper, wiper. Horn, tack, fuel gauge. Half tank. Turn the key off. Trim. Steering. I'll shift it. And I'll check that before I take off. I have storage. Little trays. Nice little boat. All right, this is a boat doctor. We will see you on the water and we'll give you the water test. How about that? That's a big 10-4. Beautiful day, by God, I tell you. I can get down to lose 10 pounds in jackets. Oh, current's even coming in. Wow, I'll get lucky. Makes it easier to get into the dock. All right, and then right through here, you can get to your, uh, say you forgot your drain plug. These are auto, so when you back them in, if you hear water coming out of your boat when it's still on the trailer you can pull it back out but if you do put it in the water and park your truck if you say oh Jesus it's spitting water out just take those things off and put a drain plug from the inside out or if you need to change your uh, bilge pumps they're right back there or seacog valves if you have washdowns downs and live wells all right see if I can get out of here without falling on my face I did it hey I get kudos and this just goes like this Okay, Bo Doctor, I'll see you on the water.